Hey, how you doing? I just want to talk about the gang stalking program and uh, how we're fighting an invisible war. And, you know, in the old times in in East Germany, you know, they had the program called the Stasi program, you know, the Zetsung and all that. And, um, you know, they used to do it blatantly in front of people, you know. They they used to gang stalk people just openly in in public and stuff and say, you know, um, you know, cough and sneeze in front of you and things and, and, you know, um, insult you and things like that outright. And they would do those type of things just blatantly, just make it obvious that you're being targeted and that, and that was the Stasi program. But with this new gang stalking program that we've got now, they've got a whole invisible army of people. They've got technology where they're able to cloak themselves and they're able to go into people's homes and attack you from there and you know they've made your home like a prison they've turned your home into a a type of prison where you're always isolated and you're you can't really see anyone or do anything because they've all been indoctrinated in the gang stalking program and they've been notified not to help you or anything like that and you know um in your gang stalking and you know they try to make you look bad they try to make you look like the guilty one and that they try to make you feel shame and guilt and things like that for things that you haven't even done you know um all you're doing as a person is trying to survive or probably just make a living just like anybody else you know you want to you want to just have a life like everybody else, but you're under this gang stalking program and you're in this invisible war, right? You're in this invisible war with people. And, you know, they're trying to accuse you of being a rock spider or anything like that, other sexual crimes. <coughs> you know, they try to accuse you of, you know, and, um, you know, like everybody, they got dirt on everybody here. They got dirt on everyone in in the world and um they've they've got an invisible army that's that's taken over the world and you know they've got this invisible type of technology cloaking technology which they can cloak themselves and stuff and they and they can um you know hide in your house and you know go in your bedroom go to the toilet with you you know do all those type of things like in my situation I can't even take a shit by myself without these people. Like, you know, they um, attack me on the toilet while I go to the toilet. They attack me in the shower. They attack me in my bedroom. I can't even sleep at night time and that um, till late at night. And, you know, sometimes I just stay up all night and sleep all day because I'm just constantly under attack all the time. And I try to avoid these these invisible gang stalkers you know, constantly torturing me every day, and, you know, they're abusive, they accuse me of being a rock spider, and, you know, they're violent towards me, and they assault me, and all that, and, you know, it's just one big massive program that's taken over the world, you know, everyone in it has been, is mind controlled, MK Ultra mind controlled, and, you know, you've got a bunch of, like, invisible holographic you know, people that go around, if you want to call them people, you know, because they're possessed, because these people are possessed, and they go around and they just attack any person that's not in the program, you know, and, you know, I just want to get my message out there to the people out there that are real, that, you know, don't gang stalk people, they're not gang stalkers, you know, there's an invisible war going on, you know, and they're They've got invisible technology and they can come to your house and and torture you. They're watching you, you know. They're, they're watching everything you do. In my case, like, I, I sort of got an idea who these people are who are gang-stalking me. They're my neighbours and that. And, you know, they sodomise me, they torture me and they're always on my genitalia constantly like a parasite. And, like, I, it's very hard for me to communicate with people and because of what what these gang stalkers do to me they've they've turned everyone against me in this gang stalking program you know and I've been humiliated shamed out 
you know, all all those type of things that they try to do to you in the tactics that they use, you know, all the tactics to break you down as an individual, you know, and we're fighting an invisible war and, you know, you've got to be ready for it. You know, you've got to have your house ready and for things that, you know, you're, you're not ready for, you know, because they've taken over the world and, you know, we can't stop this. We can't stop this invisible war unless we all come together and, you know, try to find our freedom, our human rights through all this process that we're going through, this transhumanism, this world takeover that's taken over the world, you know, and, you know, everyone's, they got dirt on everybody here and, you know, this is the program that we're under and we're fighting an invisible war, we're fighting this invisible battle. It's not what you see, you know, get cars going past or whatever like that. That's all basic shit. The real stuff is like people who are brainwashed, who are mind-controlled, demonic people. And they they torture you. They they torture you, you know, and try to turn you into a rock spider or, or some other sexual criminal of some sort, you know, like you've done something wrong, you know. And, you know, it's all... It's an invisible war that we're fighting and... You know, and everyone's everyone knows about this program, you know. It's only the TIs that don't know how to deal with this shit. We don't know how to deal with all these people that are all controlled and that. And, you know, they're all like, you know, um, manipulated. They're all manipulated and to not help you or to not get you through this this type of gang stalking program. And, you know, like you're on your own in this type of situation. See the red and blue car go past? Yeah, that's just how it is, you know. And it's just this invisible war. It's what you don't see that's real. It's what you don't see that's really violent, that's really sick. It's really, you know, um, MK Ultra to the max, you know. And, like, they've got everybody, like, in this, trapped in this invisible war. And, you know, people are like me mental prisoners. Like, your mind is like become a prison, you know. Even when I dream at night time, even when I dream at night time, I try to think good thoughts. I try to meditate on good things. They put images inside my mind that, you know, uh, that try to, like, disturb you and they try to put other images in your mind to distract you. They put other people in your mind and stuff to, to terrorise you and things like that. And, um, you know, they, they attack your dreams as well. You know, this invisible war, they also, like, get inside your dreams and your head. And, you know, they terrorise you from within, within your mind. And they try to fracture your psyche. They try to fracture your psychology, the way you think... They try to break your confidence. They try to, like, make you do things that you don't want to do. You know, like, there's, they're just like, people are just, you're fighting an invisible war. You're fighting an invisible war out there every day. It's not what you see. It's what you're doing inside your mind that's more important as an individual. What you do inside your mind is more important what these people are doing on the outside. You understand? And you have to keep your your morals. You have to keep your morals. You have to keep your dignity. You have to keep your integrity as a person and try to stand up to what you're fighting against and which is an invisible war. And I'm fighting invisible ghosts every day and I'm being assaulted and that. And, you know, I don't want to lash out and become you know, um, a killer or anything like that and attack people and stuff like that because that's what these gang stalkers want. They want to turn you into a terrorist. They want to turn you into a criminal of some sort. Anything, any, they're looking for any excuse to kill you, basically. They're looking for any excuse just to, to do you over and like, and, you know, if you're not, if they don't turn you into a rock spider, they'll try to make you mentally ill. And then when you're mentally ill, you know, you'll just attack random people and, and things and, you know, you'll just lash out in a, in a revenge attack 
on people and stuff and because you've been tortured for so long and that and your mind breaks eventually like everybody breaks you know and but it's just you got to hold on to your morals and that that's what's important and that and you've got to hold on to your integrity and dignity you know and you might have to be like gandhi and stuff like that you know you're going to have to be like gandhi and just protest protest non-violence or whatever and things and just like because you're fighting an invisible war everybody's being taken over and you've got to show these people you're more human than any of these people you know and your sh your light shines bright your light shines bright i'm in the darkness you know and um you've just got to fight this invisible war and like keep it real and just like you know just be prepared for the things that are coming in your life and they'll they'll come to your home they'll they'll molest you they'll move shit around your house they'll poison your food they'll do everything to you and you're fighting an invisible war and you got to be prepared for it and with that being said take care